All right, Emmanuel here. We're talking about semiconductors, economics, economic policy. What's a big deal anyway? I'm just chilling here in a least developed country. Yeah, quote unquote. What's the deal with semiconductors? It costs like 15 billion to build a, a factory that builds these semiconductors. So why, you know, I mean, this seems something far off for me to consider, right? Well, it turns out that no, not really. Because now, semiconductor devices in general is a very wide range of products, right? Let's break it down a bit and focus on integrated circuits. Integrated circuits are a very uh, valuable um, type of semiconductor device. Now, within integrated circuits, we can, we can even find another specialized kind of an integrated circuit called the uh, controllers and processors. So, the integrated circuit, very plain vanilla, very, um, you know, basic, although very valuable. But the integrated circuit with controllers and processors and even sometimes memory a bit more advanced, right? You're talking about it has more flavor than the other plain vanilla kind. Why is it important? Like, what's a, what does this difference mean? What it means that if you buy this integrated uh, circuit with a controller and processor, you can actually, any... If you're trying to build a device that needs to take instructions, that needs to make algorithmic calculations, right? And that needs to uh, execute some functions and then even recall, recall things, you know, have some memory, then you're trying to buy this chip. You'll, you will purchase an integrated circuit with a controller and processor as one of the inputs to your device, or right? Input in this sense, in the sense of... Um, production right a production input so semiconductor devices in general and even these kind these specific two kinds that we're talking about are inputs they're not final products you can't do anything with them on their own you know it's like uh, chewing raw uh, potatoes right you've got to bake them a bit you've got to add value why is this important for the developing world well Let's say your government institutes a new state regulation that says that they mandate that vehicle operators, public service vehicle operators must have speed governors in these vehicles and that they want these speed governors to have the ability to actually report um, on the speeds that these vehicles are registering, right? You could even add maybe maybe they could add on top of that that they want to know the location but right now let's keep keep it to speed reporting the speed well it turns out that there are entrepreneurs in Kenya who can actually build these kind of devices so they buy their integrated circuits with controllers and processors from say from the United States and they can build these speed governors yeah I didn't know that either now what does this mean? This means that you cre someone is creating jobs, you know? Someone is buying machines necessary to build these speed governors and is creating jobs. And, and not only that, you know, the, the consumers who are finding that, that um, the consumer choice is actually increased. You know, of course, there's a, and there's a market that has been created by, the, by government regulation. So this... Sem these semiconductors are very much a development question now to close off an anecdote it turns out that officials you know th because integrated circuits are very very sensitive uh, products right in terms of security because they can be used you know you can use this thing to build a missile or a bomb right because they, let's say if you eat so you have a uh, basic you know oh, oh, all right let me not say basic, uh, but you have some level of electrical engineering skill. You could make an um, improvised explosive device with these, uh, with these chips. So that means that their trade is watched over very carefully, you know. 
you could expect that if you buy a batch of these, you might get a call from the United States Embassy. That if you buy specifically from the United States, that is, right? And I've heard that they've even been pleasantly surprised that someone is building speed governors with these devices. Now, they have their specific concern, right? Their security concern. But someone is actually making a living off of the trade of these chips. So what does that mean? That means that it is a policy question. It is a policy question today and has been yesterday. The trade in semiconductors remains important and will only grow in importance with the passage of time. And more and this is also true in the developing world. Turns out. <laughs>